fish coming here. One captain netting for the other captain. Now you know it's we're in good hands here. This is how we roll the hunter and fish. <laughs> Captain's doing all work for me. Laughing. Now you bring in a fish like this, is there anything special? 
I mean, something you really keep your mind on, uh, to make sure you don't lose them? I mean, I know, you know where... Like when I, when I get fish on a board rod, I like to keep that rod tip low. Low. You don't keep it, it up then? No, it keeps that board from wanting to dive underneath on you. Bring oh, that I board and bring that board in because right now you're not using the rod tip to fight the fish, it's yeah. fighting that board. And w once you get the board off, then yes, you'll want to keep that rod tip up. Now, Darren was saying earlier that the, the, the bait is about 50 feet behind the board. Yeah, you can run when I'm fishing for Kobo, I'm running my bait anywhere from 25 to 75 feet behind the board. And the function of a board is just to spread. Spread the lines out. We can get more lines out without getting them tangled up, and so you're covering a bigger pass. Yeah, uh, I think it's a pretty nice. Oh, here. Yeah, it's water. We got it. Let's go. Yep. Yeah. There you go. I smell like a bat. We a fish. That might be a goodie. Oh, that's good. They're gonna yeah. give me this giant fish that's gonna wear me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm with you. I'm, I'm, we'll wait till this. That was 25. Yeah, with, How far easy. back was it? 25. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. other one was 23. Oh, I spent this one. Hey, Todd, make sure that oh. thing's tripped. I got the. You got it. I got the help. Yeah. They're gonna give me this giant fish that's gonna wear me yeah. out. They're going to give me an ankle. He is stronger than a large mouth bass. Yeah. Watch this rod there and watch this Hey, come on, there. get you a goodie. Well, when I tell you, I need to stop yes, yes. The hunter of fish. There's a key. There's a key? Yeah. There's a key. Walk all the way back, walk back, walk back. Is it a key? Yeah, you got the key. Walk all the way back, walk back. Walk backwards, walk backwards. Pull the boat, Joy. There we go. Pull it backwards. Here we go! First kid in 2018 right there. That's it, baby! Keep pooping. Now this fisherman sees a whole bunch of rod and reels. There's 12 right now. Because we're allowed three apiece to state law. Yeah. To you it makes sense. To me it looks like a bunch of rod and reels. But you have a system here. Can you explain it? Yeah, I mean, fishing on Lake Michigan or fishing on the Great Lakes is a lot different than fishing on a, a lot of our inland lakes. Um, as far as we're trying to mimic a school of bait fish, so we have a lot of different rods out. And as far as mimicking a school of bait fish, you got to think of it's longer one individual. So. Clear H2O tackles up. There and Chef, bring it in, baby. We are gonna get her done. Oh. I'll screw up the net job for you, don't you worry. Okay. We're going out. your left or right? I'm, I'm turning out. out. Yeah, just, well, just hit the clip. It's going to take a moment, eh? Just hit the clip, let it fly. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to... You want to extend that net out somewhere, you got it. Oh, you got it. It's like net a small mouth or something. Hey, he's not happy with you. No, not real thrilled right now. Not real thrilled right now. Yeah, got him. Got him. Over the rail and in the pail. Oh yeah, Darren, now this is your favorite color. Oh yeah, that's the Out only here. one you need. Why? The old they red don't... squiggle thin fin, because I think uh been catching coho for it's the color, they see it right with the UV uh -huh. and the way that their eyes work and the rattles don't hurt. Been catching coho for forever, eh? Cap Dodge? Since they were in the lake. Standing. Oh yeah, now we're getting them. Hey. Double pass. Right. I want to know what Keep this thing's called. Let's get another one. Let's get another this one. This is a fly. Call the fly. That is a dodger. Dodger the fly. The double O orange dodger. That's the With second the best fly. bait. After the orange bait we were yep. talking about earlier. This swings around. Yep. Giving, giving action it. to that fly. Comes in, eats. Please. Come here, big boy. You know, I know why I gave this to me. Why? Because it's a mile and a half back. <laughs> no, 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 These are no, nothing. No. Dang, I've been working out. <laughs> what made you think this was a big one? The way that board rocked back about 10 feet when it bit. <laughs> we both saw it at the same time. Like, oh. 
<laughs> well, what about a minute and a half ago, Captain Todd said there's a coho on the grass. <laughs> now, that's probably a minute and a half or still for our boat to get right on top of yeah, yeah. Kind of prophetic there, Captain Todd. Right. We is gone hunting. Lift up, not real. Not real. Don't let that board touch the water. You're swinging over to bring the rats up over to the dinner and the dinner will. You stay there, just get up there, you'll keep real. Yeah, it's just my arms are getting a little tired. Oh, what do you know? Oh. It's that same bait again. Yes! Swing it up. Oh, ah. Ah. Hey, we got he it. tried to boat flip it. I saw God. it. I saw it happen. I saw it happen. Got it. Look here, beautiful. Nice. There, and there it is. Ooh. Tasty. That's your red bait again. What do you call this thing? That is a thin fish. Thin fish. Alright. <laughs> Can you see? Clear HC. Clear H2O being represented here. We got an assortment of fish. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was awesome. Hunter yeah. fish, we hunted like crazy. These guys were switching rods, baits, all throughout. Uh, I, but curious, here, what is your assessment of, of today? Yeah, I was very pleased with today. I mean, after yesterday, we had a small craft advisory, a lot of wind, a lot of waves. It really had this water, as you can see, up in the inside, dirty conditions. Um, so the fish were scattered. You yeah, know, there we was really, debris floating everywhere. We covered yeah. a lot of water today and I think our ticket was just working in and out of those different mud lines and a lot of that being the temperature difference that we were you know finding those fish holding at. So I was surprised the water temperature is uh, over 50 degrees. Mm -hmm. I mean uh, inland lakes here uh, April 25th than it is. Yeah. It's just that temperature but you explained. Yeah I mean what we were seeing was a fluctuation of that warm river, river water coming out of the pier heads. So we were zigzagging in and out of that is how we were keeping towards it. This is the only time of year you're really searching for that warm water. And you were saying, you just go down five foot deep and that water temperature is yep. way different. Yep. And you got you can see his information in the description. And so thank you very much, sir. Hey, Appreciate thank it. You. If you want to hit that subscribe and click notifications button, you do so right now. You're not going to regret it. Until the next time, we'll see you on the water. <laughs> we can see the beauty is I can stop start off. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to watch it. <laughs>